You got to tune to Wop Up KXP 90.3 FM live on the web at kxp.org. I'm Derek Mazzoni, your DJ and host, and it is my great pleasure to introduce to you Fana Fi Allah, Sufi Kowali. Thank you for being here. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu um, alaikum. We'd love to hear a song, please. Bismillah.
Fanafi, Ala Sufi Kowali. Thanks for being here. Tell me what the song's about. This last Kowali is a what we call a, a mankabat, and a mankabat is a song of praise for a Sufi master, a Sufi saint. This particular one being Hazrat Baba Farid, Ganjay Shakar, and one of the special features of this master is that his shrine in Pakbatan Sharif is the host of the largest Kawali ceremony in the world, his Urs, his annual Kawali festival. And that place has had a very deep impact on us from playing there over the years and seeing the great masters perform also at that shrine. What is that like when you have uh, all these Kawali bands playing together and one in a shrine, a kind of setting? Like, can you put that in context for me, for you guys? Yeah, well, especially the Urs, this... Um, ceremonious occasion. It's unique in the way that the koal groups will play for a short amount of time, which is about 30 minutes, so they'll try to squeeze in mm -hmm. one or two kalams. And there's a whole pack of koals waiting to get up there and play, so there's bustling and people carrying harmoniums over their heads and trying to get in there. And awesome. when a group ends, they try to grab their instruments and pull all the money off the stage as quickly as you can. It's kind of <laughs> hectic, but also really amazing. And there's thousands of people that are just very deeply moved by the music. What role does Kowali music play in Pakistan right now? And India and South Asia in general, from your experience? Which role? What, what kind of role does it play? Because we get a lot of propaganda about Pakistan and, and Islam in general. So, you know, this is a different uh, aspect of that and I'd love to hear a little bit more about that. Yeah, the role is basically, it's this soundscape for a devotional atmosphere, mostly of these dargas, like I was explaining, of the shrines. So people from all different walks of life and genders and faiths, and especially the Sufis, come to these shrines and offer their prayers and they'll meditate and different kinds of offerings happen there. People pray for healing in different ways. And this is the traditional atmosphere for Kowali, so You'll hear the koals sitting there. It could be an old guy in a harmonium and beat up set of tablas, or it could be like a whole 10-piece group. And they're creating that whole soundscape for that devotional atmosphere. And for each shrine, for example, they'll be singing songs of praise to that particular master mm -hmm. that is enshrined there. So telling stories of his life, sharing his teachings, giving life to his teachings through the power and the universal beauty of the music as well as uh, just a whole setting where people can come and actually sit and listen to those those prayers and that those poetries there. Okay, what got you into this music? What what was the catalyst that brought you guys to this place? Probably Nusrat Fatali Khan. Okay, more or less the short answer. <laughs> but a lot of us uh, were very interested in Hindustani music, Indian music, classical music, folk music, and. Uh, Something about Kowali in particular, you know, it has its own unique flavor and style yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. world. Yeah, and we... so separately, I think we all kind of discovered it and loved it. In Abrar's case, he was born in a family that was mm -hmm. doing it, so he has his own way. He's so. got his own way. Okay, let's introduce the band first. Uh, first, starting out with Abra Hussein on vocal. Uh, and then we have Arju. Arjun Baba, yeah. Arju Baba on harmonian vocals. And then we've got uh, la, 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 Salim Chisti. Did, yes, I, right. did I pronounce that? Salim Chisti. And then Amina Chisti. Yes. Thank yeah. you for being here. And then we've got Ali Shan. I'm doing it right. All right. Tahi Faridi Kowal. Tahi Faridi Kowal, yeah. Okay. And then um, Lali Kulabi. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Uh, we've uh, um, the same with me, Nusaf Ali Khan. And... Um, uh, but he's the first one to actually open up this music to the West. And he allowed songs to be remixed and recorded and became a phenomenon. And, and one of the reasons I wanted to have you guys in here, and I want to go right back to the music, but this was the first uh, Islamic music available to the West, and it made a big impact. We don't see that. You guys are here, which is great, and you're talking about these concerts and shrines with like hundreds of koals ready to perform. I'm grateful that you're doing this, but I would love to see more of this, especially in the West, as a as a counter to the image that we're getting right now. I don't want to get political because it's really about the music, but I'm wondering if the music 
if it's does it always pertain to singing about um, um, a saint or is it always religious in nature or can you have Kuali music which is secular or a different kind of energy around it? I think that connects to the definition of Kuali, which is a great topic because in my opinion, sometimes the word Kuali is used for things that aren't really Kuali, like a lot of things happening in the Bollywood film industry and this mm -hmm. kind of thing. But I think the real meaning of the um, title Kowali in the genre is one thing, the whole music setup, the musical setup, the harmoniums, the tablas, the chorus singing, the clapping, and then of course the themes, and the themes are all about mysticism, and there's a lot of different topics. And there's like the hamd, which is in praise of God, the formless, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's the not sharif, which is in praise of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. There's the Qasida in praise of Hazrat Ali, and so on and so forth, different names for the different uh, classifications of singing for saints. And then there's also the Ghazal, which is like the Sufi mystical poetry uh, for the beloved, like the poetry of Rumi and Jami, and mm -hmm. Westerners are familiar with some of these. And then my favorite is what's called the Tawheed, which is also... Um, mystic poetry, but it, it really transcends any kind of praise or direct to any particular form, like mystical knowledge that's um, offered through music. Okay, perfect. You guys have, this is what you do. This is, this is the only thing you do. <laughs> is there like, like can you do way. this and like have like be a way, dentist um, or something? We all teach separately as well okay. and have students. And some, some of us have other music projects. projects. Okay. Yeah. But other the, you, things, you guys uh, are working music. Some people own a shop, you know, yeah. things like that. But yeah. this is a primary thing in, in okay. life, yes. It, sounds, it mm -hmm. sounds and feels like it would be kind of all-encompassing. Like once you're in, it's not like you're like a post-punk band and, you know, working as a stockbroker on the side. This is kind <laughs> of like the thing that you do. Um, I want to get right back to the music, but I have a question for Amina. Mm. Um, there aren't many girls in this in this mm. particular genre. What's your role in this and how does it feel, especially playing at a shrine where it's like, what are you doing This here? is the difference where you will see there's never been a woman in the seat in the shrine atmosphere where the Kuali's played. And this is a thousand year old form of tradition. So um, traditionally I like to speak for the women of Pakistan that have progressed musically as artists. You have phenomenal artists that left uh, Compositions like Noor Jahan and 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 what have you that really brought forward a, lots of revolution in the musical progression of Pakistan. But uh, the Sufi Kawali has remained traditional, and like you said, Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, his father was responsible for bringing Kawali music to the radio station first time ever outside of the shrines. Mm -hmm. So it was only a generation back where Kawali music was getting played outside of the shrines. So therefore, this is a very new um, experience for people to see us as Westerners playing in a traditional form. And, um, Are you blowing people's minds when you show up? Or are they like? Well, they're very curious, and then they hear the music, and then they have to comment that they had seen Nusra Fateh Ali Khan many times, and they're very happy we're keeping a traditional setting, and they were surprised that white people could sing like we have. And it's awesome. a, an amazing ocean vastness of experience to yet be learned and seen. Perfect. Perfect, thank you. Yeah. Let's uh, let's go back a little bit, um, hear some music, but how do I find out more about you? Like if I'm listening, you have mm -hmm. a film coming up and you've got a site, social media, talk about that, where can yeah, people find out more? Yeah, it's all connected to our website, <laughs> www.fanafiala.com, that's F-A-N-N-A-F-I-A-L-L-A-H. Okay, go there and you can find more. Um, we'd love to hear some more music, please. Fanafiala on Wopop, KXP 90.3, where the music matters.
suffer by night I can Jame pi ke paas ke ye Apni Apni chab banaye ke जो मैं पी के पास गई जब जब देखे मैंने पिया के जो मैं अपने जब जब दे की पिया की जब छब दे Chop till like a savage
Fanafi Allah, live on Wop Up KXP 90.3 FM. Thank you. You guys are awesome. <laughs> really, really beautiful. Really beautiful. You're playing at California World Fest in Grass Valley, California, July 14th through the 17th. And then you're all over the place and you're basically traveling. So, yeah, the soonest thing is uh, tomorrow night in Portland. Nice. And many other places. Yeah, yeah, no, I've got the concert listing here. This is great. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. This is great. This is beautiful. And please come back again. That we will. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, so thank you very much. This is Wopop KXP 90.3 FM. I want to thank uh, Scott Holpinen, Jim Beckman, Justin, Patrick Lurs, Kevin Suggs, J. Joseph Vaskovitz. I'm Derek Mazzoni, DJ and host Wopop KXP 90.3. Fana fi Allah. Thank you again. Allah fees. KXP, where the music matters. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.